Hello, I'm Matt from Practical BI and welcome to another Power BI Time Intelligence tutorial. This time uh, we're looking at how to calculate uh, pre previous month or next month values. Um, so in this example we'll look at sales and how to cal calculate our sales for the previous month and the next month based on uh, a, a selected month. Okay, so let's dive straight into our report. I've got some some sales data in here so um, I have uh, units sold over, over a month um, month on month throughout the year 2020 um, we don't need to worry about the other fields that are in my data at the moment um, so uh, and all I've done is we've got three cards here that we want to populate at the moment um, I'm just putting a total sum of sales in in my in each of these cards um, so I've got a measure that's just uh, units sold and it's just a sum of my my units sold there so I've got um, uh, my total years sales across across all of these and um, just let's start by uh, selecting a month and just just seeing what happens just so you can see that so um, 85,000 in August and we've got them showing in in every month there and if I deselect August you can see that uh, 85,000 is the, the, the correct sales there um, on the right hand side here I've got three measures that I've created just to try and help show what's going on with these previous month and next month functions so uh, let's start with the previous month um, we're going to create a new measure here so I'm just going to uh, right click on my measures table and select new measure we'll call this previous month sales um, and I'm going to use the calculate function I'm going to use my existing units sold measure and I'm going to apply my previous month function uh, oops, missed the H there and um, I'm going to just pass my uh, date column in my calendar date table um, through to that that function now what the previous month function does is it takes the first date in the selection uh, well the first date in your, your your date column effectively and it says what's the what's the month prior to that and create a, a table a new table with a single column that has all the dates in that previous month so what we're saying is um, create create a table with all dates in the previous month and sum the units sold um, for all dates in that table so uh, let's see what that looks like um, I'll just commit that and I'm just going to uh, format that and we'll bring it into our um, we'll, and we'll bring it into our previous month card there now you can see that to start out this is showing zero and that makes sense because um, the first month in our column at the moment as we can see from this first date value here is the 1st of January and we don't have any sales in our data set prior to prior to that date um, so we wouldn't expect any um, uh, any value in there at the moment um, it, again if I select January here our first date doesn't change um, you can see that our previous date is our previous month is actually uh, blank so we're not getting any values because this is based on our, our calendar table so it requires those dates to be there if I deselect that though and select February you can see that now our previous month is, is showing as January and I've got a previous month sales of 94,000 um, which is not our, our February sales because our February sales are 88,000 so if I, I deselect that you can see January sales 94,000 when I select February I've got my 94,000 sales in there um, I could select multiple months here and even even though I've selected multiple months because this is based on the first date in the column I'm still getting getting my value for for January and you can see again it's still January that's being passed um, as the, the the previous month uh, and the dates within that previous month so that gives me my previous month uh, next month works in a, in a very similar way let's just clear that slicer um, so I could just uh, let's just uh, copy all of this uh, measure I'll create a new measure and we'll call this one next month sales uh, so I'll just rename that to next and this time it works in exactly the same way that we're using the next month here to create our our uh, table with our single column of, of date values for the next month after the uh, date selected and I'm going to just commit that there and we'll bring that into our next month sales card I'll just uh, change the format so that looks slightly easier to to read you see again 
uh, we don't have anything after December 2020 this is showing a zero but if I select November we've got sales there of 98,000 um, if I deselect that you can see uh, December is 98,000 there so um, let's select November again and just see what we're getting here so we've got our next month is December previous month is October and that's all showing uh, as you'd expect now the current documentation on the Microsoft website and, and many of the other reference websites uh, for DAX documentation say that the next month uh, function takes the first date in the, in the dates column. Um, this doesn't seem to be strictly true. If I select for example August and September, well my first date is, is, the, August, is the 1st of August and so if I was basing my next month on that first date I'd expect to see my next month as September but what I'm actually getting is, is October here so um, I, it, what we're effectively doing is, is taking the next month after the, the maximum date selected here um, and the previous month um, prior to the minimum date so even if I select a, a range of, of multiple dates like that um, I, I've got May is my, my previous month to that range and October is my following month after that after that range. Let's just see what happens if I deselect one of these months as well. Again, absolutely no change. Um, even though I've, uh, it's not in my selection, um, still because my, my minimum date is um, in, in June and my maximum date is in September, I'm seeing the months either side of that. So that's the next month and previous month functions and they uh, work in, in exactly the same way for um, next day, previous day, next quarter, previous quarter, next year, previous year. So I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please do like and subscribe. Um, and if you have any feedback or questions or any other topics you'd like me to cover, please do add them to the comments underneath this video. And I look forward to speaking to you again.